It's time for Orchard Skills. When creating a business online, it's crucial that your website has the capabilities to process payments. Today, we'll be creating a customized payment solution by utilizing Stripe Payments. The first thing we're going to need to do, create a Stripe account. So let's bring up a browser and let's head on over to stripe.com slash payments. Click on sign in, click on sign up, enter your email, your full name, your password, confirm your password, and then press the create account button. Currently we are viewing test data. So we want to click on the developers and then API key. and then you notice here there's a publish key and a secret key and so we'll need to copy that information for our integration for Stripe and that's all you need to set up a Stripe account you'll need to verify your email okay then let's go ahead and bring up email and you'll notice here that we have an email from Stripe let's click on that let's click on the verify email address button and there we go we verified our email address let's start out by using a working solution so let's bring up a browser and let's head on over to the orchard skills github site select the orchard skills dot orchard core dot taxonomies example because this has the latest clean blog theme with taxonomies click on the clone and open in desktop and let's open github desktop okay let's go ahead and click the clone button and there we go we have our github repository cloned so now let's start visual studio open up a project or solution open the solution orchard deals dot orchard core dot orchard cms dot solution sl double click on that and there we go there's our solution so what we're going to need to do is to modify clean blog theme and we will add stripe integration within that theme because once we do that then it's all integrated with the theme and i think that's probably our best solution and later on we can refactor this and put it in a separate module that might be better but let's go ahead and start out simple and let's just integrate the stripe inside of the clean blog theme in order to integrate the stripe payment we're going to have to implement the model view controller and create component for those so first thing let's go ahead and create a directory a new folder and let's call that controllers and under the controller directory, we're going to have a payment controller.cs, add item, and let's just select an empty controller payment and click add. Okay, so the next directory, we need to create services. Click add new folder, and let's name this services. And there we'll add them. Let's go ahead and select class here and here. We want to call that card payment service. Hit add. Right click, add new item. Here we'll select an interface, and here we'll call that iCard Payment Service, and then add, okay. And then we'll create another folder, and we'll call this the View Models. And add, new item, and we'll just select Class, and let's go ahead and call, and call that Card Payment Receipt View Model. Okay, add, new item, and we'll call this Card Payment View Model, add, new item. And we'll call this error view model to display errors okay so one will be used to display the credit card receipt after we purchase something one will be for the card payment view model for the form and the other one would be for displaying the errors if an error occurs okay and then also in the views we're going to add a new folder called payment And we'll just add an index.cs HTML. And then we'll also add the item. And I'll we'll add a receipt.cs HTML. Okay. So one other thing we need to do is in the clean blog theme, we're going to need to add the Stripe NuGet package. So the easiest way is just to go and edit the CS project file here and go ahead and add the stripe.net NuGet, and that's version 37.4.0. As of today, that's the latest version. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and implement paymentcontroller.cs. And here we'll have a class called payment controller, and we have a private iCard payment service. And then payment controller, we pass in the iCard payment service. And then we'll have an HTTP GET for iResult index, 
HTTP POST, I result index for the payment view model, HTTP GET for I action receipt, and pass in the view model for the car payment receipt view model, and then also for the error model here. So now let's head down to the services. Let's go ahead and implement the car payment service. And here we have a class called car payment service of I card payment. And basically we have a method to create uh, and a method to payment receipt for the payment receipt. So now let's go ahead and implement the interface for that. So that's easy. We just pass in there. So now let's go ahead and implement the view models. And for the card payment receipt view model, we're going to have a class called card payment receipt view model. And that'll include the amount, the currency, the description, the status, the time created, um, the balance transaction ID, also an ID and a source ID. And that's part of Stripe's. Okay, and let's go ahead and select the card payment view model. And for that, a class named card payment view model. And they'll have two properties of email and token. Okay, for the last one, the error view model.cs, we will have two properties the request ID and also the show request ID. Okay, so now payment index.html. This is where all the form stuff, HTML code and JavaScript will be for, to process the form. So we have, as you can see, we have CSS for the form, and then we also have um, JavaScript down here for the form. So this will process the, the Stripe form for us. And for the receipt, this will be the Razor page for the receipt. So that'll display the amount, the currency, description, status, the created, balance, transaction ID, the ID, and the source ID. So that after the person clicks on the button, to purchase something, he'll get this as a receipt. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to go to the dartup.cs file here, and we're gonna add some configuration. So we're gonna add the microsoft.extensions.configuration, and there we're gonna add a startup I configuration, and we'll pass in the configuration there, and we'll have a property for that. Then we'll also down here, we'll call configure straight, and also we need service collection, add the scope for the iCard payment for card payment. And so let's go up here and also add Stripe here. So then after this, we're gonna have to, and so also we need to add the services. Okay, now let's go ahead and Go to the orchardskills.orchardcore.orchardcms, which is the main application. And inside of the appsettings.json file, there's a development section here. And what we want to do is go ahead and add the Stripe key. So that's the secret key and then the publishable key. So once we've done that, we've entered all that information in. So also we need to do is copy some CSS and some JavaScript here for us. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now for the CSS, we have our site.css, which is for form. Okay, and then let's go down to our JavaScript and we have our stripe.javascript. So we have to make sure that we enter in the Stripe API key here so currently this is a placeholder and then also here's our st stripe card form.js okay once we got all this entered in and complete we're ready to run and test the stripe integration so let's go ahead and do that let's run the application by going up and hitting the little green play triangle Okay, let's portrait skills and let's select the clean blog theme and let's go ahead and click on the finish setup button. All right, there we go. And now as you'll notice that there's a buy button here. So let's go ahead and click the buy button and it brings up a Skype payment form. So let's go ahead and enter our name, our email, and let's go ahead and enter a phone number. And how about a credit card? Um, the Skype credit card for testing is 42424242424242. And for the month, I put 424. And then I do 424 as a pin. And then 42424 for the zip code. We already hit the pay button. So let's go ahead and hit the pay button. And there we go. Everything was successful. So it says, thanks. Here's your receipt. Um, amount was 99. Currency, United States dollar. 
Description, Orchard Core Test Stripe Card Payment, Status Success, Created on the State, Balance Transaction ID, ID and Source ID. Let's head on over to dashboard.stripe.com slash test. And let's click on the payments. And you'll notice that we've got a payment here for Orchard Skill Test Stripe Payment Card. So we know now that the transaction was complete. So now we have Stripe integrated into Orchard Core. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.